Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel and today we are actually taking a look at this thing which is DPH5005 USB plus Bluetooth module. This is basically a bug boost converter capable of 5 volt, 50 volts and 5 amperes, sorry. And this thing is specifically made for digitally controlled power supply. You can see constant voltage, constant current power supply. So this is kind of a power supply module. I was initially planning to make a power supply from this thing but this thing is very straightforward to use so there is no point of making an entire video on power supply. So I just thought I will make uh, this kind of review video for this thing. I received this package from Banggood. They sent me this thing for free for, for review of course. But they haven't paid me to say anything good. So if this thing sucks, I will tell you. And this is the module itself over here. You can see this thing is really nice. Initial impressions, I really like this thing. The Everything is of high, really high quality. You can see these connectors are even of really high quality, not the cheap kind of ones. So this is the input you can say it's clearly mentioned over here input positive and the input negative and this side is obviously output negative and the positive you can even see they have included a nice small fan and even the heatsink is really bulky because this thing can get really hot because this thing is capable of 250 watts yeah you heard me right 250 watts I will repeat again and so yeah this thing is buck boost converter so we can increase and decrease the voltage which we want to do in our power supply so yeah that's that's what for this thing is made of made for and we have some other things as well in the package so we have two cables for connection of course and then we have this thing which is a lcd module and this thing is really straightforward nothing fancy over here a button for voltage and increment a button for current and decrement and to set this thing of course and we have this thing is not a potentiometer this thing is an encoder so really nice touch over here this thing does make things look premium and even the knob they have used is of nice quality and a button for power on and off behind we have two connectors we can remove this thing and you can see one of them is for lcd so for this lcd and another one is for key so you can connect this thing to make it function with that so yeah let's keep that thing aside and see what else we get so with my specific model you get two more thing which are which are a usb module so this is basically a ch340 module you can see uh, can my camera see okay you can, i can i can see it but i am not sure if you can see so this is basically a ch340 module which is used on arduino as well basically uh, arduino nano so we can use this to connect it to our computer using some software we can fine tune the adjustments and all that kind of stuff and this thing is a bluetooth module so you can control this power supply supply apparently with your mobile phone as well so really nice thing to have but we will see that if we can use it later so what else we get we have this kind of a nice manual which is written in chinese on this side and in an english is this side so this thing says dear customer thank you for purchasing blah 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 okay okay so we have also have a qr code for some applications and PC software but I, let me mention I will only install this software on mo my mobile phone and computer if I find them safe I, if I find something fishy I won't do it at all because I care for my privacy and I don't want anyone to look at my all my files so let's scan this thing and so okay we have a media file link let's open it So this is the link okay so they have a generalized folder so this is not a sp okay nothing so yeah this thing was uploaded on 2018 so this thing this power supply is basically about an year old so nothing new let's go in my so that was my specific model so we have all this softwares over here okay we have okay so this there is another folder which says software pc software and the android app let's go in that okay so we have our android app and the software now i will first download the android app but if i found it safe then only i will install it on my phone so let's download it i just clicked so it's now downloading it's about 5 mb let's wait for that thing to download and we will see if i will install it so let's wait for that okay so done downloading now let's see 
okay uh, as i expected so this thing is asking for my phone status and identity which i don't want to give and also asking to modify and delete usb storage content and all that kind of stuff so this thing i kind of feel this thing is fishy so i am not installing but anyways i just looked it up before making this video so what this is actually does using phone and stuff so this thing nothing special you will just basically be able to control all the things which you will be able to do using this display just through your phone via bluetooth connection which is nice thing to have uh, but i don't find it practically usable because if you are because if you are using bluetooth module let's be practical we have our phone always with us so if you are using bluetooth module you will have a barely range of about 10 meters or maximum 50 meters if this thing is bluetooth 5.0 if i'm not wrong but why why would you uh, want to do it you can just go and do it manually whatever you want to do it but yeah it's nice thing to have but let's see uh, okay so now let's connect this display to this thing and let me quickly tell you about the specification of this product so this thing is capable of 250 watts I, as i already mentioned if i'm not wrong so yeah this thing is capable of 250 watts and the maximum output voltage which you can get is uh so the maximum output voltage which you, which you can get is 50 volts at 5 amperes so yeah you get 250 watts of power with this thing so yeah if and the input voltage can be 12 volts 24 volts and 50 volts of course because uh, this thing is bug boost converter and from the manufacturer it is recommended to use voltage or the power which is at least greater 1.5 times so let's assume you are using uh, 50 volts and 5 amperes maximum which is 250 watts at the output so manufacturer recommends to use at least uh, 260 or something like 300 watts of input power so you have some mileage or sorry some range input range to play around so your power supply won't uh, have to just like be always at 100 percent load so yeah that's for that now let's i will just hook this thing to some input voltage i will use 24 volt 10 amp power supply smps to be specific and we will measure the output voltage and see how this thing functions and how to use this thing so yeah let me quickly do that okay so i just finished hooking this thing up to this smps which is capable of 24 volts 10 ampere at the maximum and i also have connected the multimeter at the output of this thing so we can measure the voltage and make sure that there is no error so let's power this thing up and let me hold it like this so you can see there is some logo and the noise you hear is from the fan of this power supply so let me quickly zoom in so the display is not very bright the, not the brightest one i have seen but can get the job done and even i have my light set up so that's why i cannot see properly but yeah it's kind of okay not the best one and you can see we can see the input voltage which we are giving to this module which is about 24 volts and right now this power supply is turned on off so we can turn on using this button and you can see this thing turns green and to set the voltage we have this button so let me power this thing off so for setting the voltage you can see from here you can set and using this it will change the position of this kind of a cursor you can see on the top when i press that thing changes so when and when we uh, use this encoder it will change the voltage so let's set it to the 7 volts okay and use this set set and when we turn on we should see 7 volts so 6.99 volts and 7 volts now that's okay so and let's see what we have on the multimeter on the multimeter we have uh, i don't camera you focus okay and on the multimeter we have 7.01 volts so yeah that's okay you can see this thing shows 6.99 and it shows 0.7.01 so yeah that's okay that's really small difference and so that's fine and to even you can even set the maximum output current by going on this so right now you can say it's set to 5.1 and you can change it to anything you want you can see and if you want to change it like uh, vigorously then you and you can change that by going deep in the menu so that's how you can set this thing by going deep in the menu and you can even set more parameters like going in this menu where if you see over here 
there is this thing called S out and which is set to 51 volts. So if I go in, uh, sorry. So if I go in, in this thing and if I set it to something less like suppose 20, 10 volts, let's set it to 10 volts. And now if I try, and now if I try to increase or decrease the voltage, it won't go beyond 10 volts. Now, let me turn this thing on. Now you can see I just set this thing to 16 volts, but it's not going, it's turning off. Why? Because I just set the output maximum voltage limit to 10 volts. So now let me change it to like 20 volts and try to power this thing on once again. Uh, this menu is kind of annoying because I have to like sometimes use a different thing. Now I just set it to 20 volts. Now let's turn this thing on and you can see now it's coming at 16 volts. So that's pretty much it. Uh, I was initially planning to make a dedicated video on how to make a power supply using this module. But as you guys saw in this video that this thing is really simple to use and already pretty much power supply. You just have to make a case for this thing and attach a SMPS or something like that to the input. So that's why I just decided to make this kind of a review video. But still, if you want me to make a video on how to make power supply using this thing or what else should I add in power supply besides just this one thing. So let me know in the comment section or in what project I should use this power supply module or this bug boost converter, which is capable of 50 volts and 5 amperes. Let me know in the comment section. And that's pretty much it for this video. I hope you enjoyed this one. If you did, then don't forget to give this thing a thumbs up or thumbs down if you didn't like it for some reason. And I will see you guys in the next one.